Hello YouTube, what's going on? It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and Airbnb Superhost. And today I'm joined by my girlfriend Erica. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And we're coming to you live from the Public Hotel in New York City, which is on the Lower East Side, and it's Ian Schrager's uh, new concept. For those of you who are not familiar with Ian Schrager, he started the Studio 54 nightclub here in Manhattan. I think in the 1970s it was like the spot to go. Every celebrity from all over the world would come here, and it was an era fueled with like champagne and cocaine and just parties and insanity and so Studio 54 is like legendary and he founded Studio 54 and then subsequent to that and I'm not particularly familiar with his entire career but he became a hotelier and so he's got the Gramercy Park Hotel in New York City which you know he opened maybe a decade ago or so to critical acclaim design was off the charts really bright red lavish rich you know just totally new for the area and um, critically acclaimed. I don't know what other hotels he's opened since then, but this public concept here in the Lower East Side is one of his newest ones, and I was drawn to it because it's about community and technology and being innovative and disruptive, and so I wanted to check it out, and Eric and I are here for one night. We just got back from Bali, so we're a little bit jet-lagged, and pardon us, but we wanted to get this on film and share with you our first impressions. So, Erica. What are your first impressions of the public? I think it's absolutely beautiful. Isn't it? It is. It is. Very hip, very relevant, aesthetically pleasing. It's kind of like us, hip and relevant. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> exactly. Same, same. Well, you know, and that's part of the thing that we talk about when it comes to hospitality and hosting in your short-term rental is find the right tribe, right? And so whatever you just said and that I said, it sounds like us, we're sort of on the right tribe, folks. This is sort of making sense. Um, my first impressions are similar to Erica's. The sense of arrival is amazing. They've got this colorful, um, lit up escalator that takes you upstairs. So cool. Really cool, Instagram worthy. People are taking photos. So like the sense of arrival is great. The sense of aesthetic and design and decor, spot on, really great. Um, a lot of concrete and uh, concrete that looks like faux wood and just really innovative use of lighting. And it's just, Texture. yeah, I mean, really really thoughtful design and really well executed and so my first impressions were wow this is great what about um your thoughts on the room again aesthetically pleasing really beautiful um some things that i've never really kind of seen before as far as like the color glass and um color choices i thought it was really bright um kind of contrast to the other color schemes throughout the hotel yep. um but small <laughs> Tiny. Um, we're Tiny. spending, you know, we're spending a small fortune for a very small size room. It is New York City. We are on an extended trip, so we've been traveling for a couple of weeks, and we've got a couple of months to go. So we have two normal size suitcases and two carry-ons and a purse or whatever, camera bag, and like that's taking up our entire room. We can barely walk around. So um, that's not great. But to your point, the design is fantastic. Floor to ceiling windows, a lot of technology in the room, charges everywhere. Again, really thoughtfully designed and I'm really pleased with the room overall, um, even at the cost and the small size. Um, but I think the concept here for public goes beyond design and aesthetic and sort of small rooms. It's really called public because this entire area is open to the public. So the room that we're sitting in right now and the room behind us and that bar and all that is completely open to the public. You don't have to be a guest to stay here. You can come and just plug in your laptop and work. You can have an espresso. You can do whatever you want. Um, and that probably has to do with the zoning and the way that they got the permitting for New York City. That's a concept that happens in a lot of urban areas where in order to get certain space, you have to dedicate certain space to the public so that it's not a private only sort of community. And so Ian has really brilliantly called the hotel public and encouraged the public to come up here and use it. And then more importantly, designed around the sense of community. So there's a lot of bigger tables and long tables where total strangers are sitting down and they're working, they're socializing, they're getting to know one another. And whereas in the Nido Hotel in Nashville, the Nido Hotel that's powered by Airbnb and we reviewed 
on this channel not too long ago where the design was also beautiful and the aesthetic we praised it was a ghost town it was totally soulless it was empty it was like cold and vapid there was just nothing there this is really warm and being used by people we're filming early in the morning so this place isn't full but when we arrived yesterday there was just a lot of buzz and energy and excitement and people working everywhere and people plugging in their phones and computers at communal tables and like Ian really nailed the sense of community and I think calling it public and playing off of what many people would think are a negative, right? Like, wait a minute, in my brand new hotel I have to have designated space for the public. I don't really want that. Instead, he totally embraced that and turned it into a positive and named the hotel public and then encouraged community and total strangers. So people from New York City interacting with guests from all over the world and it's working. People are really having a good time. So I think that's the concept along with technology, lower labor costs, self-check-in, all of these new ideas that are a blend of sort of the short-term rental and the high-end hospitality. And in this particular case, we have really high-end design, aesthetic, really thoughtful design with this new technology component of it. And I think that's what they're going for here. And I would say it's really working quite well. Agreed. So, what are the things that you like most? The aesthetics. It's gorgeous at every corner. I feel like it's very comfortable. It's, very, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I also think that um, it's, it's just really thoughtfully, you know, designed as far as, um, you know, what's in the rooms, what's not in the rooms, the cafeteria-style dining yep. um, in New York. <laughs> the design is unique everything right so the gift shop is unique and thoughtfully designed the cafeteria is thoughtfully designed the restaurants are thoughtfully designed um, the escalators thoughtfully designed the room is thoughtfully designed I mean a lot of time and energy and money went into designing this place the lighting is thoughtfully designed the floor-to-ceiling windows the blackout shades the curtains I mean it's just really yeah it's really put together quite well and so I think that that's what I like about it most Second, of course, to the fact that I really think the community component, which I've been t teaching people in the short-term rental space, the importance of getting the right people to your location to do the right things and then enabling it and think forward about how they're going to use it, design for it, enable it, make sure that it works, and put all that together and create the sense of community. That I think they've really done spectacularly well. Great. We stayed at another hotel that had really nice design uh, not too long ago. We didn't review it on the YouTube channel, unfortunately, but we did do a Facebook Live. So if you haven't been on our Facebook group, go ahead and join it. We'll include a link here to the private Facebook group. There's 16,000 hosts from all over the world that are posting comments, questions, suggestions, advice. It's a great resource. And I go live there. So we went live from um, the Ace Hotel in Manhattan, uh, which when it came out about 10, 12 years ago, was really forward thinking and design focused and the aesthetic was unseen in like the hospitality community and also really communal long tables and people co-working and so on. But for me, it was quite dark and maybe I'm the wrong person that they're trying to attract. Maybe if I was in my 30s and I was hipper, um, it had more like a Brooklyn hip, I, you know, hipster sort of feel then that would be the right tribe. For me, it was just felt kind of dark and cold, but this, what they've created here, really resonates with me. Like, it really works for me, and they've nailed that. What about the things that you don't like? I was really surprised by the size of the room. I think everyone is, <laughs> Yeah. right? I mean, it's, it's tiny. tiny. It's really tiny, and we're spending a good amount. I mean, I think right. our room is in excess of $400 a night in, during the week in August, so right. it's expensive. Um, for me, what I disliked was a technology fail, and normally I would lose my mind and just be like really never staying here again. When we checked in and we traveled 40 some odd hours from Bali to Hong Kong, we had a 12 hour layover in Hong Kong and then another 16 hour flight from Hong Kong to JFK, then a couple of hours in the car to get here, and when we finally got here just exhausted, the internet was down and we couldn't get into our room. The self-check-in kiosk requires internet and it was down. So they asked us to sit for like 10 minutes and enjoy a cup of coffee and, you know, that didn't seem like an unreasonable request, although it really wasn't what we wanted or desired or expected or anything. But we rolled with the punches partly because everything else was working so well and I was excited and so like that's the point about setting expectations, attracting the right tribe. I gave them a pass for something that would normally, you know, if I checked into the Four Seasons Hotel or another hotel 
with full hospitality expectations, I would have been really upset. And here I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't pleased, but I was okay. And then, of course, that 10-minute delay turned into hours, and we ended up leaving, and we didn't check in. We left all of our luggage, and we were gone for hours, and then we came back, and they were very apologetic. But, like, that's inexcusable. You can't really have that. And so there's lessons for me in the Outer Banks project where we will also have self-check-in is that there has to be a backup. There has to be a way so that people don't travel from all over the world and get stuck when they just want to go lie down and shower or whatever. And we saw another couple from Korea and it started to get backed up here in the lobby. And so that's the part that really surprised me the most. That's the thing I liked the least was the reliance on the technology, the failure of the technology, but I'm going to use it to a positive and figure this out better in the Outer Banks. So always take the worst and make the best out of it. And this was, you know, I'm glad it happened to somebody else's hotel <laughs> so that I can improve on it. Would you stay here again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, I mean, again, I think the thoughtfulness that they put into just about everything, um, the lack of amenities in the room itself, but then the resources that they have on property to draw from. Um, I want to go downstairs and get a cup of coffee. Right. I want to go upstairs to the rooftop bar and get a cocktail. I want to, um, you know, if I forgot something, I don't want to go elsewhere. I want to go to the gift shop just because chances are, again, with the amount of thought that they put into everything, they have what I need. Right. And in fact, one of the things that I thought was really kind of cool was they had a self-vending machine right. with things like chargers and cables and so on. And so um, they really understand who they're trying to attract and how they travel and what they might be missing and what they right. need. And then the gift shop was really playful and had all sorts of funny things. And, you know, I said earlier about Studio 54 and um, how it was, you know, the heyday of partying and cocaine and so on. So they've got these coasters with white lines of like <laughs> cocaine. And, but, you know, so like, rad. yeah, I mean, it doesn't really like appeal to me, but, you know, it's playful and it brings joy to people that see it and it's funny and it's different. and. Um, I just think they've done a really tremendous job, so much so that when I ask myself would I stay here again, this might be my hotel of choice in the New York City area. We come in and out of here all the time. Um, first off, I like the location here on the Lower East Side. It's really hip. It's close to great shopping. It's close to my old place. Great restaurants. Um, I like the design. I like the vibe. I like the people. There's beautiful people everywhere. Everyone's happy to be here. Um, I like the co-working environment. I like the rooftop deck we went to last night. I love the views, the floor to ceiling windows. So there's a lot of things to like. I will say it's pretty pricey for what it is that you get, in, especially in the room. Mm -hmm. But I think you're not spending so much time in the room and you're spending more right. time out here. Right. right. And that's sort of the community component of it, which I'm a big advocate for. So this might well be my go-to hotel for the future, our go-to hotel. Um, and I would love to hear comments from you, the viewers. Go ahead and comment below. What hotels have you stayed at? Have you stayed at the public? What hotels have created this community well? What are you doing to embrace community in your short-term rental? Uh, because the more that we share with one another, the more we all learn, right? We're just two people, but I think the community is fantastic. So go ahead and comment below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And congratulations, Erica, your very first video. Hey, thanks. All right. Yeah.